I'm Jenny Ledeque, Clinical Assistant Professor at the University of Washington within the Department of Global Health. As a director with the International Training and Education Center in Botswana, known as iTech Botswana, my colleagues and I have reviewed factors associated with the scale up of national voluntary medical male circumcision programs in Africa. As a bit of background, in 2007, WHO and UNAIDS recommended voluntary medical male circumcision, referred to as VMMC, as an add-on strategy for HIV prevention. This was based on strong data from three randomized control trials indicating that VMMC can reduce HIV acquisition by up to 60% among HIV negative heterosexual men. Subsequently, 14 countries in East and Southern Africa began scaling up national VMMC programs in order to circumcise 80% of the HIV negative men aged 15 to 49 by 2016. This generated a lofty goal of 20 million circumcisions within those countries by 2016. Initially, scale up was gradual. By December 2012, approximately 3 million circumcisions had been conducted. Within the following year, there was a marked improvement in the pace of scale up with a cumulative total of approximately 6 million procedures completed by the end of 2013. Given that substantial efforts are needed to reach the circumcision targets in a timely fashion, the purpose of our review was to apply a systems thinking approach using the WHO Health Systems Building Blocks as a framework to examine factors influencing the scale-up of national VMMC programs. We found related to leadership and governance that sustained support at not only the global and national level was important, but also sustained support at the community and facility level were critical. Looking at the health workforce, the ambitious, time-sensitive VMMC targets require implementation of surgical efficiencies to minimize human resources constraints. In terms of health service delivery, expanding access and improving demand for VMCC are critical to service utilization. Considering medical products and technologies, Coordinated partnerships are required to manage the successful, complex logistical systems needed for successful VMMC implementation. From the perspective of health systems financing, continued donor support is critical for programmatic success. And finally, related to health information, evidence-based decision-making is critical for achieving VMMC targets. Reporting to date has largely focused on absolute numbers of eligible men circumcised as opposed to information to support on-the-ground program implementation. In conclusion, male circumcision is an important part of HIV prevention efforts. The nature of the procedure makes it challenging to implement given that it involves healthy men undergoing an elective procedure with cultural, ethnic, political, and religious dimensions. We recommend that a systems thinking approach be applied for comprehensively examining how VMMC programs can operate more successfully and effectively.